The UX250H is kind of like Lexus's version of the Prius. Small, but very, very efficient with this hybrid powertrain. So, how well does that do on the highway? Let's go find out. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the highway fuel economy test on the 2022 Lexus UX250H. In today's test, we're going to head out on the highway, do 50 miles out and 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour, to get you a realistic fuel economy test for this subcompact hybrid crossover. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I'm actually quite looking forward to this test. The UX is a very nice car to drive, it's comfortable inside, very premium materials, should be nice and quiet and decently efficient on the highway, but I am personally curious to how well it'll do, because hybrids don't tend to do quite as well on the highway as their gasoline counterparts, or at least I should say as uh, their EPA numbers expect, because we do a higher speed and it's steady state, you're not really gaining much advantage to having a hybrid powertrain. In fact, it's sometimes a little bit of a detriment because of the weight of the batteries. But if you do want to see more on the merits and demerits of this Lexus UX 250H. Check the links in the description. We've got a review of the sound system test. In fact, I'm going to do a members only test on this drive. We've got a DM review and maybe a few other goodies. So why do we do this test? Well, the EPA's highway fuel economy test, which gives this UX 38 miles per gallon, that test only averages 48 miles per hour. We know there are plenty of people who use their vehicles for extensive road trips and would like to know what sort of numbers they can realistically expect in the real world. In order to do that, we're going to head over to the gas station here, fill up, go out and do 100 miles out, uh, 100 miles total, come back, fill up at the same pump using the same three-click fueling method, and get a result. A few things to note for today, outside temperature is 71 degrees Fahrenheit without much sun, kind of ideal fuel economy temperatures. Our tire pressures have been set to their door placard, 33 PSI cold, and I'm going to be running the climate control at 73 degrees auto. Now, yes, this might run the compressor, but that's how people travel in the real world. Now, I'm driving the car in S mode right now because I'm trying to drain the fuel tank out a little bit. It's still pretty full. We should have about... Uh, well, this camera's not going to let me turn here. Okay. Uh, we should have... We're fairly full here, but we should have about a gallon down. I just want to make sure it's used up a little bit so we're not overfilling the tank on this first fill. Now, I am curious if you need to have... 91 octane in this car if it requires premium. I don't think it does, but let us consult the owner's manual that's built right into the system here. Apparently there's zero matches for the word octane. Find that hard to believe. How about fuel? All right, what do we got? Closing the fuel tank, opening the fuel tank, consumption, none of this is very helpful. That's not what I want at all. All right, we're gonna try the real owner's manual. I guess I could also check the EPA's website, see what they used, but I wanna know what the car says. Gas station information, fuel type, unleaded gasoline only. That, okay, I mean, I guess that implies it doesn't need premium. Fuel, type 411. Octane reading, 87. Okay, cool. See, I appreciate that. If you're going to come out with a hybrid powertrain, don't make it take premium. That kind of defeats the purpose. So good on Lexus for keeping it uh, keeping it regular there. All right, let's fill it up. 1.058 gallons going in for our first fill. Before we start the vehicle's engine, we're going to reset our GPS and the car's trip computer. And we're ready to begin. A few different drive modes here in the UX250H, Sport, Normal, and Eco. We've got the car in Eco. And because we're trying out this new gas station, we're a little bit closer to the highway. So it's only about, probably like 0.3 miles before we get on. But I'll let you know once we get going here. Yep, 0.3 miles to the highway on-ramp. So a little bit more of an accurate test location than shell station we've previously used and I know Christopher has been using a new gas station on his side of town that should be a little bit closer to the highway as well. 
Now the goal of this test isn't to hypermile, we're not trying to get the best possible fuel economy for this car, but rather a realistic figure. So in order to do that, we're going to get up to highway speed here at a reasonable pace and set our cruise control at a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour. That should allow us to average 70 over the whole test. Of course, some people just cool with hanging out in the right lane, not doing the speed limit. Hey, if you're in the right, that's fine with me. Looks like our car speedometer is about two miles per hour below our GPS over there, so we're gonna have to settle in on 74. And even though it's a Sunday, it looks like we've got a little bit of traffic around, so hopefully once we make it a little bit more out onto our route, it'll be a little bit clearer, but we might have to kind of avoid a little bit of traffic in the drafting situation. Cruise is engaged. Close our sunroof. Initial highway impressions. A little bit louder in here than we'd like, but this is also a pretty loud section of highway. No wind noise, just hearing this concrete asphalt surface. Oh, and I'm also remembering that Lexuses tend to cruise one mile per hour below whatever you have their cruise control set at. So we're actually gonna have to set to cruise at 75 so that the car will do 74 so that the GPS reads 72. Lots of science going on here, folks. But anyway, we're gonna continue on with the rest of the test and catch up with you at the end. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the entire trip. Coming into the end of the highway fuel economy test here in the Lexus UX250H. Better than expected. According to the vehicle's trip computer, we've been averaging 40.8 miles per gallon since we departed the gas station. It's pretty darn good. We have had a little bit of extra traffic, so uh, maybe a little bit more drafting than I would like, but speed has been good. We've averaged 70 miles per hour over the trip, so I would consider it a pretty good test road construction here, see how we want to handle this situation. Road noise leaves a little bit to be desired for this class of vehicle. You are definitely paying a premium for the Lexus model in this class, but I don't think it's awful. It's just uh, considering everything else in the car is so quiet, kind of like, it's interesting. Also, the sound system leaves quite a bit to be desired. Bit of a shame coming from a Lexus. But I am nice and comfortable and not uh, not like screaming to get out of the seat or anything. So we're gonna get back to the pump, fill this thing up, and see what sort of number we calculate. Another interesting thing is the vehicle's navigation in the center for its speed limit doesn't agree with the vehicle's gauge cluster. So in the head-up display in the gauge cluster, it says 60 miles per hour for the speed limit, and the navigation, the in-car, not Apple CarPlay or anything, in-car navigation says 70. So. I think that discrepancy is just kind of kind of silly. Rolling in at the pump, 41.2 according to the vehicle. We got 97.7 plus 3.2.9, uh, 100.9 miles. We had to add 0.2 to that. Let's hop out and fill it up. 2.476 gallons going in for our last fill. 100.9 miles divided by 2.478 is giving us 40.7 miles per gallon, rounding up to 41. And that is pretty spot on with what the car's readout was. It's a little bit lower, but still coming out to the same whole number. A few miles per gallon better than EPA. Nice job, Lexus. I didn't expect that. In the hybrid model, you only have a 10.6 gallon tank, so it's good that it's pretty efficient. So 10.6 times 41 miles per gallon gives you an effective highway cruising range of about 430 miles here in the 2022 Lexus UX 
250h at 70 miles per hour. Thank you so much for watching. I'm pleasantly surprised by that result. Hope you are as well. If you do want to see a little more on the Lexus UX, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Thank mm -hmm. you.